Hello dears, today we are going to discuss the inclusion exclusion principle. Before entering to the inclusion exclusion principle, we can discuss union, intersection and complement. Let A be a finite set and cardinality of A be the number of elements in A. For example, if A equal to the set 3, 5, 8, 7, then cardinality of A is equal to 4. That, that is the number of elements of this set A. That is 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, let A and B be any two sets. Now, their union denoted by A union B is the set of all elements belonging to A or B. Union is the set of elements belonging to A or B. Uh, intersection denoted by A intersection B consists of the common elements from A and B. And then the complement is denoted by this A complement and that is the set of elements in the universal set that are not in A. That is the complement of a set A is the set of all elements in the universal set but they are not in A. Now we can discuss the inclusion exclusion principle. Let A and B be finite sets let the cardinality of A intersection B be N, the cardinality of A N plus R, cardinality of B N plus S. For some integers N, R, S which are greater than or equal to 0. Now, the cardinality of the union of A and B, that is the cardinality of A union B is equal to N plus R plus S because uh, the number of elements in common is n so n plus r plus s so that is that is nothing but n plus r plus n plus s minus n if you are adding and subtracting n then we will get n plus r plus n plus s minus n now we have n plus r is equal to cardinality of a and n plus s is equal to cardinality of b that is we can write this uh, cardinality of a plus cardinality of b minus n is nothing but the cardinality of a intersection b so a intersection b so, we can write the cardinality of A union B is equal to cardinality of A plus cardinality of B minus cardinality of A intersection B if A and B are finite sets. This is the inclusion exclusion principle uh, with two finite sets. Now, if you are considering three finite sets A, B and C, then uh, the inclusion exclusion principle is cardinality of A union B union C is equal to cardinality of A plus cardinality of B plus cardinality of C minus cardinality of A intersection B minus cardinality of B intersection C minus, minus cardinality of C intersection A then plus cardinality of A intersection B intersection C. So, if you are generalizing this result, we get the inclusion exclusion principle uh, for n finite sets. Let A1, A2, etc., An be n finite sets then the cardinality of union i from 1 to n a i union a i where i from 1 to n is equal to that is a1 union a2 union a3 etc union a n the cardinality of that set is equal to summation uh, cardinality of a i where i varies from 1 to n that is 1 less than or equal to i less than or equal to n that is uh, this is nothing but uh, cardinality of a1 plus cardinality of a2 plus etc plus cardinality of a then minus summation 1 less than or equal to i less than j less than or equal to n a i intersection a j this is the sum of the intersections of uh, two sets that is a1 intersection a2 cardinality of this minus a1 intersection a3 minus etc minus a1 intersection a n then we have minus a2 intersection a3 minus etc. So, this is the second summation. Now, third summation is for three sets that is summation 1 less than or equal to i less than j less than k less than or equal to n cardinality of a i intersection a j intersection a k then minus etc plus and the last term will be uh, intersection of uh, all the sets that is intersection of a1, a2, a3, etc. 
A that is A1 intersection, A2 intersection, etc. A that is intersection AI for I equal to 1 to N. Here the sign will be depends on the uh, number of sets N. So this is the inclusion exclusion principle. Now we can discuss some simple applications of uh, this theorem. First example, find the number of positive integers less than or equal to 2,076 and divisible by neither 4 nor 5. We have to find the number of positive integers which are less than or equal to uh, 2,076 and, it, uh, and they are not divisible by 4 and 5. First we can take two sets let A equal to set of all x belongs to n such that x is less than or equal to 2076 and divisible by 4. Number collection on a and So let b equal to x belongs to n such that x less than or equal to this number and divisible by 5. So we have uh, uh, the cardinality of a that is the number of elements of a in the world number of positive integers less than or equal to 2076 and divisible by 4 and it is the floor of 2076 divided by 4 right and cardinality of b is equal to number of elements or number of positive integers less than or equal to this number and divisible by 5 this is actually we know uh, uh, floor of 2076 divided by 5 okay now what about uh, a intersection b a intersection b set of all x belongs to n such that x less than or equal to 2076 and divisible by 4 and 5 4 and 5 on the divide a button to do with the culture the might love natural numbers in the collection on a intersection b so we have the cardinality of a intersection b is equal to the floor of 2076 divided by 4 into 5 over 20 so 20 okay divided 5 so it should be divided by 20 that means it is nothing but uh, the set of all integers or set of all uh, positive integers so less than or equal to 2076 and uh, divisible by 20 okay so the number of elements uh, of that set will be this so by inclusion exclusion principle we have cardinality of a union b is equal to cardinality of a plus cardinality of b minus cardinality of a intersection b but we have cardinality of a is equal to this cardinality of b equal to this and cardinality of a intersection b is this so this is nothing but this is floor of 519 that is uh, 2076 divided by 4 is 519 plus 2076 divided by 5 is uh, 415 divided by 2 so floor of this then minus 2076 divided by 20 that is floor of 103.8 so we'll have floor of 519 is 519 uh, for floor of uh, 415.2 is 415 and floor of 103.8 is 103 so which is equal to 831 so this is the uh, cardinality of a union b actually we need to find the uh, number of elements of complement of a union b uh, a union b nu ornanal a ilum b ilum undavunna elements in the union aanu a union b nu ornanal so we need to, here we have to find the number of positive integers, integers less than or equal to this and divis, no, not divisible by 4 and 5 so uh, among uh, the first 2076 positive integers there are 2076 minus 831 equal to 1245 1245 uh, integers are uh, not divisible by 4 and 5 so the required number of elements is equal to 1245 next example find the number of positive integers less than or equal to 3000 and divisible by 3 5 or 7 divisible by 3 5 or 7 and to find this uh, we can consider three sets a b and c suppose a is the set of four positive integers less than or equal to 3000 and divisible by 3 b denotes the 
set up all positive integer, integers less than or equal to 3000 and divisible by 5 and C denote the sets set of all positive integers less than or equal to 30 3000 and divisible by 7 we have to find uh, the cardinality of A union B union C so we have by uh, inclusion exclusion principle cardinality of A union B union C is equal to cardinality of A plus cardinality of B plus cardinality of C minus cardinality of A intersection B minus cardinality of B intersection C minus cardinality of C intersection A and plus cardinality of A intersection B intersection C. Here cardinality of A is equal to floor of 3000 divided by 3. Cardinality of B is equal to 3000 floor of 3000 divided by 5. Cardinality of C is equal to 3000 divided by 7 that is floor of 3000 3, divided by 7. Now cardinality of A intersection B. A intersection B in the, uh, is nothing but uh, the floor of 3000 divided by 3 into 5 that is 15. B intersection is floor of 3000 divided by 5 into 7 that is 35. Then cardinality of C intersection A is floor of 3000 divided by 3 into 7 that is 21 and this plus cardinality of A intersection B intersection C that is A intersection B intersection C is uh, the set of all positive integers less than or equal to 3000 and divisible by each of these numbers that is divisible by 3 into 5 into 7 that is divisible by 105 so we, we have the number of such positive integers is equal to floor of 3000 divided by 105 now we have uh, 3000 divided by 3 is equal to 100 uh, thousand 3000 divided by 5 is equal to 600 3000 divided by 7 is equal to 428.571 uh, 3000 divided by 15 is equal to 200 3000 divided by 35 is equal to 85.7142 3000 divided by 21 is equal to 142.857 3000 divided by 105 is 28.25714 so finding the floor of these functions we'll get uh, these numbers we get uh, this is 1000 and uh, 600 this is 428 and floor of 200 is 200 then for of a floor of 85.7142 which is uh, 85 then next is 142 then 28 so adding this we get uh, 1629 so the number of positive integers less than or equal to 3000 and divisible by 3 5 or 7 is nothing but 1629 so we can use the inclusion exclusion principle uh, to solve these type of problems next example show that the number of leap years L after 1600 and not exceeding a given year Y is given by L is equal to floor of Y by 4 minus floor of Y by 100 plus floor of Y by 400 minus uh, 380. So here we need to find the number of leap years, number of leap years and it is denoted by L here which are after uh, 1600 and not exceeding the year y that means we need to find the number of leap years after the year 1600 and uh, before or equal to the year y why in the lower year the third and year or in the third year or the third year or the third Okay, so this is unproven. Now, what is a leap year? We know a year is a leap year if it is a century divisible by 400 or if it is a non century and divisible by 4. That is the number of year leap year. That is the century. It is divisible by 400 icon. Non century angle divisible by 4 icon. For example, 1600 leap year and a century 1600 and so it is century and other divided by 400 and it is divisible by 400 and so 1600 and leap year and a well then 1976 leap year and a uh, non century and the century, uh, the multiple cell, but it is 
it is divisible by 4 aan 100 minde multiples ellatha years divisible by 4 aanengil adu leap year aayirikkum 100 inde multiples ella ullathu 400 undu divisible by 400 aanengil adum leap year aayirikkum okay anganalla years aanu leap year nu parayunnathu 1976 nallathu it is divisible by 4 so it is a leap year but this is not these are not leap years because 17 78 nallathu century alla it is non century aanu but it is not divisible by 4 4 it divide cheyan pattilla adu pole thanne 1900 that is 1900 ennalladu or century aanu but it is not divisible by 400 okay adu undu idu rendum endalla leap year alla but these two are leap years so here we have to find the number of leap years greater than 1600 and less than or equal to y adanu kandu pidikkanda clear so let n be a year such that 1600 less than n less than y. n and the other, the shashow, y and the year in the mumble of my aling by you, the mumble of my tla, or year on the yarica. A way the leap year on the hella years in the report to Namaka leap years in another and do the candidate. Okay, to derive the formula for L, L no annual number of such leap years, he proceeds step by step. First step, find the number of years in n a number of years n in the range divisible by 4 idilulla 400 divide cheyan pattuna years kandupidikkaya so 400 divide cheyan pattanengil it is of this form 4n n1 nalla alli 4n nalla roopathil irikku so 1600 less than 4n1 less than or equal to y that is 400 less than n1 less than or equal to y by 4 so uh, number of years greater than 1600 and less than or equal to y which is divisible by 4 nalla endu varum this minus this floor of y by 4 minus 400 i that is n1 ennalladhu namak kitti idu idil ennana idu nu parayanal 4n1 is greater than 1600 and less than or equal to y that mean uh, it is the uh, n1 is the number of years uh, which, which are divisible by 4 and uh, which is greater than 1600 and less than or equal to y so, anganalla years nu parayanal n1 aayirikkum okay so floor of y by 4 minus 400 years appo n1 ennu parna kanjal adayathu itterathilulla aayathar nu parnakal koodilum y nekalum y nekalum cherdho equal o aayittulladhu aayittulla 400 divide cheyan pattuna elements inde alling years inde ennam n1 aanu adu floor of y by 4 minus 400 okay ini we are going to find the uh, number of centuries in the range of this that is, this range is centuries. So, this range is centuries. Actually, it is, it is of this form 100 n. 100 n2 is the formula. Okay. This is the ideal centuries. So, 100 multiples. So, less than 100 n2 less than or equal to y. So, dividing by 100, we get 16 less than n2 less than or equal to y by 100. So, this uh, is uh, years in the end of the centuries in the end of it in the ideal la, centuries in the end of the n2 n2 is equal to uh, floor of y by 100 minus 16 okay i turn on the share show i mean why in the why you are in the world it three and n2 number of centuries beyond uh, 1600 and less than or equal to y centuries in the end of n2 anna. now uh, as century will live number of another uh, four 400 divided by 100 years in the end. So, step 3 is the number of centuries in the range divisible by 400. Okay. As centuries is 400 divided by 100. Okay. So, 400 and 100, 200, 300, etc. 400 divided by 100, 400, then 800, etc. So, that is the number of centuries. 400 divided by 100 years in the formula. 400 into n3 is the number so uh, 400 uh, into n3 lies between 1600 and y so uh, dividing throughout by 400 we get 4 less than n3 less than or equal to y by 400 so n3 in the length of the floor of y by 400 minus 4 okay that is the highest year number in the name y in the ideal la 400 known to divide m but in the years in the end n3 equal to floor of y by 400 minus 4 so n3 in it now, number L and the Rikum. L and the number of leap years. Number of leap years is equal to N1 minus N2 plus N3. 
n1 എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ നമ്മൾ n എടുത്തിട്ടുള്ളത് ആയിരത്തി അറുന്നൂറിന്റെയും വൈ ഡേയും ഇടയിലുള്ളതാണ് അതായത് വൈ ലെസ് ദൻ തൗസൻഡ് സിക്സ് ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ലെസ് ദാൻ എൻ ലെസ് ദാൻ ഓർ ഈക്വൽ ടു വൈ ഇതാണ് എൻ പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുള്ളത് എൻ വൺ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഇതിൽ ഫോർ വൺ ഡിവൈഡ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുന്നത് നമ്മൾ പറഞ്ഞു ലീപ്യർ ആവണമെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ സെഞ്ചുറീസ് ആണെങ്കിൽ ഫോർ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് കൊണ്ട് ഡിവൈഡ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും അതുപോലെ തന്നെ നോൺ സെഞ്ചുറീസ് ആണെങ്കിൽ അതായത് നൂറിന്റെ മൾട്ടിപ്പിൾസ് അല്ലാത്ത ഇയേഴ്സ് ആണെങ്കിൽ ഫോർ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ഡിവൈഡ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുന്നതും ആണെങ്കിൽ ലീപ്യേഴ്സ് ആയിരിക്കും അപ്പൊ ഇത്രയും എലിമെന്റ്സ് ആണ് നമുക്ക് കണ്ടുപിടിക്കേണ്ടത് അതായത് ആർത്ത് ആയിരത്തി അറുന്നൂറിന്റെയും വൈഡേയും ഇടയിലുള്ള സെഞ്ചുറീസുകളിൽ ഫോർ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് കൊണ്ട് ഡിവൈഡ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുന്നതും നോൺ സെഞ്ചുറീസുകളിൽ ഫോർ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ഡിവൈഡ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുന്നതുമായിട്ടുള്ള ഇയേഴ്സിനെയാണ് നമുക്ക് കണ്ടുപിടിക്കേണ്ടത് ഓക്കെ അപ്പൊ ആദ്യം എൻ വൺ നമ്മൾ എടുത്തു എൻ വൺ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഫോർ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ഡിവൈഡ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുന്ന എല്ലാ ഇയേഴ്സും ആയി അപ്പൊ അതിൽ നിന്ന് നമുക്ക് ആദ്യം ചെയ്യണം സെഞ്ചുറി ഒഴിവാക്കണം സെഞ്ചുറിന്റെ എണ്ണായിരുന്നു നമ്മൾ നമ്പർ ഓഫ് സെഞ്ചുറീസ് ആയിരുന്നു എൻ ടു അപ്പൊ സെഞ്ചുറീസ് ഒഴിവാക്കി ദെൻ എൻ ത്രീ ആഡ് ചെയ്തു എൻ ത്രീ ആഡ് ചെയ്യാന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞാല് സെഞ്ചുറികളിൽ ഫോർ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് കൊണ്ട് ഡിവൈഡ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുന്നതിന് മാത്രം അപ്പൊ നമ്മൾ ടോട്ടൽ ഫോർ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ഡിവൈഡ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുന്ന എടുത്തു പിന്നെ ഫോർ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് കൊണ്ട് ഡിവൈഡ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുന്ന എടുത്തു അതിൽ നിന്ന് സെഞ്ചുറികൾ മൊത്തം ഒഴിവാക്കുകയും ചെയ്തു അപ്പോ സെഞ്ചുറി അപ്പൊ ഇതെന്ത് കിട്ടി എൻ വൺ എന്നുള്ളതിൽ നമുക്ക് എൻ ടു സബ്ട്രാക്ട് ചെയ്തുകൊണ്ട് നോൺ സെഞ്ചുറികളിൽ നിന്നുള്ള നോൺ സെഞ്ചുറികളിൽ നിന്നുള്ള ഫോർ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ഡിവൈഡ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുന്ന എലിമെന്റ്സ് കിട്ടി ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് എൻ വൺ മൈനസ് എൻ ടു എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ നോൺ സെഞ്ചുറികളിൽ നിന്നുള്ള എൻ വൺ ഫോർ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ഡിവൈഡ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുന്ന കിട്ടി എൻ ത്രീ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഫോർ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് കൊണ്ട് ഡിവൈഡ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുന്ന എലിമെന്റ്സും കിട്ടി അപ്പൊ അത്രയായി സോ ദിസ് ഈസ് ആക്ച്വലി എൽ നൗ ഈ എന്നിന്റെ വാല്യൂസ് നമുക്ക് റീപ്ലേസ് ചെയ്യാം എൻ വൺ എന്തായിരുന്നു ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഫ്ലോർ ഓഫ് വൈ ബൈ ഫോർ മൈനസ് ഫോർ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് ഫ്ലോർ ഓഫ് വൈ ബൈ ഫോർ മൈനസ് ഫോർ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് മൈനസ് എൻ ടു എൻ ടു ഇസ് നതിങ് ബട്ട് ഫ്ലോർ ഓഫ് വൈ ബൈ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് മൈനസ് സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ So this is uh, minus y by 100 plus 16 and uh, n3 is floor of y by 400 minus 4. So floor of y by 400 minus 4. So the added is here, floor of y by 4 is here, floor of y by 100 is here and floor of y by uh, 400 is here. Now minus 400 plus 16 minus 4 that is minus 3 double 8. So this is the formula for finding number of leap years which are greater than uh, 600. and less than or equal to y okay now we can discuss uh, some divisibility properties involving uh, even and odd integers we have uh, the division algorithm uh, a equal to b q plus r adhayad a ennalla uh, integer b ennalla positive integer onde divide cheyanal namukku ariyam q ennalla quotient um r ennalla remainder um kittum adile if you let b equal to b equal to 2 odutha kanna we will get a equal to 2q plus r a equal to 2q plus r so b2 ayond thana r varies from 0 to 2 that is 0 less than or equal to r less than 2 so r n rendu chance e ullu onnil 0 ava allengil 1 ava so r should be 0 or 1 so when r equal to 0 r 0 aanengil we have a equal to 2q a equal to 2q in that case we can say that a is an even integer such integers are even that is a nalla ore even integer aayirikku nartham when r equal to 1 then we have a equal to 2q plus 1 uh, such integers are called uh, odd integers that is ivada r 1 aanengil a is the uh, a is an odd integer okay so any uh, uh, even integer can be expressed as a equal to 2 into q or 2 into n and uh, odd integer can be expressed as a equal to 2n plus 1 So, uh, even in the case, we can express it in the case of the case of the case of the case of the case. Now, uh, it follows from this definition that every integer is either even or odd, but not both. Either integer is even or odd, but not both. Okay. Pythagoras considered the odd numbers uh, uh, as male and good, and even numbers as female. Pythagoras considered the odd numbers as male and good, and even numbers as female and bad. Okay. Number one. was considered neither male or nor female one nalladhu female or male o aayittu consider cheyittillayirunnu number 5 number 5 nu parayumbo randindeyum three deyum sum aanu that is first uh, male and female numbers some of the first female and female numbers uh, was considered as a symbol of marriage now we have some properties of even and odd integers you already know that actually uh, you, you can prove this by yourself first one is the sum of any two even integers is even and the even integers in the sum even aayirikum product of any two even integers is again even sum of any two odd integers is also even 
the product of any two odd integers is odd that is odd integer into odd integer is odd sum of an even integer and an odd integer which is odd uh, product of an even integer and an odd integer is even uh, if the square of an integer is even then the integer is even if the square of an integer is odd then the integer is odd okay you can try to prove this 